2021 has some pretty good releases that this year in the casino world, and I'm just going to do the top five games because, um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to do, and I quite like it. My only rule for this one is that you have to do one from each company, and I'm not four from the same big win board. I'm looking at you. Number five is Midnight in Tokyo by Wasdan Gaming. Honestly, I like this one just for a few reasons. This is one of those games that I always go back to, even though it's quite generic. It has something about it that just makes it that kind of game that it just looks good and it sounds good and everything works. And if you want to sort out the volatility, you can. And if you want to sort out how quickly it goes, you can do that. If you want to gamble, it has it like it has everything that it needs to do just to be quite a nice slot. It's on the number five because actually it doesn't do anything that breaks any boundaries, but what it does, it does well, and that's all that matters. Books and Bounties by Gamma Man, another one that is almost exactly the same as Midnight in Tokyo. The only reason that I went for this one over Midnight in Tokyo is just I think this one looks a bit better and its free spins are actually kind of interesting. The first one is not interesting at all, just the general free spins are boring, but the bonus game is really cool that when you get this guy and he attacks the preachers every time and you get money for each one he attacks, which gives that bonus the edge over the other games because it's, again, just a different bonus game. I just think it's very cool. And this one as well, it has gambling, but it has two kinds of gambling, which is double the amount of the last one. Sorry, Midnight in Tokyo. So, you know, that's why it's better. That's all I'm going to say. The next one and the one I do agree with Big Wimboard here is Das Boot. Uh, you might say, Boot? Boot? I don't know. Now, you may say to me, Ben, you know, they recommended four. Uh, no limit game so why are you only recommending one one i told you my rule two i actually don't think the other ones actually do that much different that i would say than the rest of them the reason that das boot is just so much better than all the rest of them is that the free spin itself is actually really cool the way that they have a battleship and they actually involve the storyline with the slot which i think is just really really impressive honestly no limit games do seriously have very very good games and the way that they present their games are absolutely amazing and this one is no different i think that this one is just the best out of all of their games and really genuinely the two free spins are amazing the fact that you can just get the whole line of wilds again is just so cool and it definitely deserves the right as best slot on this list Number two, Football Streak. Now, you may say to me, Benjamin, what is this? What is this? Why is this up here? This looks awful. This is just a football simulator. Why is this bad? Well, I have a few things. Number one, this is a football simulator that actually lets you do every single thing. Like, it doesn't just mean that you do goals. You don't just do who's going to win. And the games that you actually watch are very football-like. And you can genuinely see the games play out. And you can watch it. And it's decently fair. And it gives you some good, interesting games. And really, this game just has kind of everything. It even has a free spin mode where if you play six games that are over five goals... Then it gives you a free bonus game where you can basically just bet what you like and you know, you're not going to lose. Yes, it's, there is a cap, but again, I think that this is very cool and honestly, the way that they've done this is just so interesting. The fact that the players look very cool, the way that the animations happen, that you can see the game going on. I just think this is one of those games, especially for someone like me who actually likes football and just enjoys playing it. This is one of those games where both of you can play together, like me and a friend can play it together and we can watch the team and we can cheer them on and stuff like that. And to be honest, that's just so much more fun to me than just a generic slot. The presentation and everything else as well is just so clear and you can change the teams for whoever you want to play against each other and you can see all the win probabilities and everything like that. Like, really, I think this game is very, very fun and if you want to check it out, genuinely do. And number one, it should come as no surprise for anyone that watches this channel. This is, of course, Astro Boomers. I love Astro Boomers. I'm always going to love Astro Boomers. Astro Boomers is one of those games that me and a couple of friends will just go around each other's houses and we will just play it together because it's easy and it's fun and everyone can play and, you know, you fuck up all the time. Like, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. You're not playing it to, you know, win lots of money or do loads of things. But you can. That's the thing as well. The multipliers on this can be ridiculous. The way that you play is stressful and it's fun. And when you actually do well, it's so worth it it's so much better than any slot where you just press a button and wait like the fact that you have to just really have that stress and when it goes above two and you still have your hand on that buzzer like i'm gonna wait i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna keep waiting like yeah genuinely this game just ah oh, it's so fun and the fact that they now have a turbo version which means that you don't even have to wait the 15 seconds which really was almost my only complaint apart from the chat function which again they've changed like genuinely They've tried really hard with this game. I think they actually deserve it. Like, they are so much above Aviator and Jet X. Like, genuinely speaking, this is one of those games where, seriously, if you haven't played Astro Boomers, just play it. I recommend it. It is my best game of this year. But what do you guys think? Am I wrong? I could definitely be wrong. It's me. I'm wrong all the time. But if I am wrong, put it in the comment section below. I'm interested what you guys think. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Ben365. Don't spend too much.